We are the folks, they are the witnesses that you can let it all crumble and we'll be there for you. We are the let it crumble folks. <laughs> I mean, I, I, there's certain songs that I've loved throughout, throughout time, but uh, I love that, that line in that Grace Slick song, you know, let the world around us just fall apart. Baby, we can make it if we're heart to heart. You know, it's like, yeah, you can just feel it when she's singing it. Like, there is nothing that can keep us apart. It can crumble. Our belief in, in unworthiness is going to just seem to crumble, and so will the world around it that was built to prop up this feeling of unworthiness. And it's okay. We can let it dissolve away. And the Holy Spirit would not have you linger in time. That is not your inheritance. The things of time is, are not your inheritance. Eternal happiness and love and joy, that's the inheritance. And so that's why things will seem to fall away. Things that have been with you maybe for days or months or years or even decades may start to dissolve. And that's part of the plan as well. Kind of like uh, Humpty Dumpty, you know. <laughs> Had a big fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. We can't re-establish the self-concept. It's, it's crumbling. And we're, we are love. There's a deep love underneath that. This is not a pathway of loss, but the ego will say, that all those things are real, and that it will give you all kinds of wild goose chases in time and space to try to avoid the loss, avoid the lack, avoid the, the loneliness and the sadness, and it's, they never succeed. We, we have tried, we've pursued many of those roadways, and, and we just get there, we're just, at the end we're saying, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? I think I've done this before. <laughs> Feels like I've reached the same dead end that I did before. And it's like, why, why was I thinking trying this again? It's all part of that, uh, that trust and letting go. And we are so worthy. <laughs> all of us are so, so worthy of that love. You know, we, we need to really test out the Holy Spirit and, and, and let it crumble and trust that, that love will be waiting there to catch you, you know, like that, that Olivia Newton-John song, Magic, you know, uh, I'll, I'll catch you when you fall, that the love is there when things crumble. And we're so afraid that we're going to mess it up, or that, you know, it's because we just don't believe we deserve it, and we do. And right before uh, Kirsten called, uh, I was on the phone with a friend of mine, Cindy Stanley, and and uh, it's the same thing. She was calling and she was crying at the other end and all the twists and turns and feeling like my world's falling apart and feeling like my life is crumbling and I just had to call you and reach out and it was just so beautiful. And she said, David, you know the Truman Show? I said, yeah. She said, you're my Sylvia. I don't know if you remember the Truman Show. Mm -hmm. Sylvia's the one who's like, where's the t-shirt? How will it end? She's rooting for Truman to leave behind the whole show, uh, to let the show just fall apart. To, she's rooting for him to escape. And, and then at the very end, you know, when he's right there standing at the door to escape, you know, she's just in a state of prayer. You can do it. You know, all along during the movie, she's just rooting for him to let go. To let go of the props, to let go of whatever he thought the world held for him. You know, she's just praying for him. And then, when he finally makes his, his little bow, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. He takes a bow, and all the people that have been watching him cheer, and Sylvia comes running down the steps to go meet him. You know, that's the way the Holy Spirit is. That's what Jesus, that's the message of Jesus. He's like saying, I'm going to be there for you when, you when you just take your final bow to the world. 
It's okay for the world to crumble. It's okay. Even though you think you're not worthy of what's to come, you are worthy. It's your inheritance. And, you know, that's what a true friend in Christ is, is one who will be there for you. No matter how many times you seem to fail, no matter how many times you seem to turn away, no matter how many times you seem to mess it up, no matter how many times things seem to go wrong, to have this loving presence that's there for you, just waiting to hold you, just waiting to embrace you with love.